people mocking with eye and eyebrow gestures, to eat interest, to drink, to gamble, to believe in fortune arrows, trying to demean everyone with a mocking attitude. What else do you want? Everything is already in the Quran, so why are you looking for trouble? One must ask people. When you don't put this method, you see some people just come and say to you, this is haram, that is haram. You can't buy a dog house, you can't listen to music. For example, one of the scholars in the last days explains how to bathe because people can't manage it. You can't bathe naked because angels see. So angels have nothing better to do, they are peeping. There is material in the literature about it, but there is no such haram in the Quran. So the angels don't see us when we dress and undress, but only when we shower. There is also the opposite in the Hadith literature. I just read it in the Hadith literature recently regarding the Prophet washing without clothes on and being naked and his wife holding a towel outside. And in fact, there's a famous Hadith about Prophet Moses that in my opinion is made up. So we should ask these men if Prophet Moses and our Prophet were not ashamed of the angels. So are you ashamed of the angels and these two prophets weren't? Because the sources you refer to and use these hadiths also narrate the others. You're making these sources, a starting point seems doesn't lead us to, to a consistent place.